So, after seeing quite a few collections of Star Wars stuff on um, various people's videos, I thought I'd show you my collection. So, as you can see, it's behind this door. So, this is my Star Wars room, so I'll give you a quick, kind of brief walk around. Excuse the squeaky floorboard, which I'll probably stand on. Yep. So, I could whiz around quickly. So, I'll just go over a few things. I'm sure most of you have, who are interested in this kind of thing have seen a lot of these figures before. So, you kind of start off when they started re releasing them again, I think it was in 95. So, you've got the basic Power of the Force 2 figures. So, the red ones there are the first ones. And just to say as well, I only collect stuff from the original three films, so that's why I don't have any prequel or you know episode seven or eight stuff. I'm not interested in any of that. I just collect the the original trilogy ones. You can see there, and it goes to the green card ones. So I'm gonna go back over here and see a few more of them. I love the droid ones, so this is probably my one of my favourite ones is the R five D four. So that's one of the better ones. And two one B, really like that figure. I'm not so interested in, you know, another Luke or Han or Leah or whatever. I like more of the obscure figures. So it's, as this collection went along it was really interesting to see what they'd release. And I know, obviously at the time I didn't realise, you get the red card, the green card, you get the hologram, you get the um, freeze frame action slide. I didn't realise at the time some figures have different variants of all of those. So what I might do is when I finish my collection go back and kind of get some more of the variants. That's another of my favourite ones there, Death Star Droid. I really like that one. So those are the kind of the Power of the Force 2. And then we started on um, the flashback photo ones. So this is when the um, Phantom Menace was on the verge of coming out. So you can see they did a flashback, so you can pull that down. So that's Obi-Wan Kenobi. Pull it down and it goes the version of Obi-Wan Kenobi from the Phantom Menace. So I won't do all of them, but... I wasn't a huge fan of these figures actually. Because again, the other line we just get an interest and then they stop them and you get all Luke's and Leah's and Hands again. So that one was an okay one because it's one that hasn't been released before. So that's an Anakin Skywalker from the original Return of the Jedi. And then Aunt Beru is also another good one um, with one of the service droids in there as well. That was really cool. So there's about, I don't know, how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 or so of those. Then, still Power of the Force, they did the, the comm chip ones. So you've got Greedo there, Han Solo, the Jawas with Gonk Droid. Gonk Droid's pretty cool. Luke again, Vader again, R2-D2 with the Leia holograms, pretty cool. Stormtrooper, Admiral Motti, I really like that one. Leia, and then you've got Wu Her, the um, bartender. So, yeah, I think there's only about 12 of those 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, no, no, even 10, even. So, not very many of those either. And then they went on to Power of the Jedi. So, again, not really a fan of the packaging, but they did start releasing some different figures, which is pretty cool. So, you've got 
Jack Porkins, I quite like that one. Um, you've got IG88, I've got like, again, a droid. And then you've got K3PO, I like that one. And then you've got a Mon Calamari Officer, that's another different one. And then you've got R2Q5, one of the Death Star droids, I think. So again, that's pretty cool. Uh, and then you've got one called in the corner there, Allura's Madak, which is one of the, the first fans choice figures. Although, I don't know who chose that one, but still. And again, you've got some obscure ones. So Catwall is quite an interesting one. And then FX7. Was there first FX7 again? Really interested in that one. It's a different droid. And you've got Boshek, which is another background character, which is the ones I really like as well. Ones that you kind of see for a couple of seconds. You've got R4M9, that's a pretty cool one. And the last one in that series was Tebow. And then they went on to the saga, the Star Wars saga. And again, not a fan of the packaging at all. And again, then just getting interesting figures, and they go back to Luke and Darth Vader again, and Solo, Chewie. This is a pretty cool one, though. That's Ephant Mon, one of the um, Jabba's kind of background characters, apparently head of security. But, so that's a really big and pretty cool figure. And then got some Imperial officers. You've got Tebow again, probably this, exactly the same one repackaged. And we've got a few different ones. Again, not too interesting here. And you've got a Macquarie, the first Macquarie concept figure, which is pretty cool. And then you've got a couple of the Imperial Dignitaries, which are pretty cool as well. And R3PO, I like that one. And then down again. So R1G4, again, another background joy. Really like that figure. That's pretty cool. And you've got, again, some more background aliens, which I really like. Sorry for the jumping about. And then you've got a few more there. Actually, the last few, so starting with, I think it's C-3PO, they look identical to previous ones, um, but they're called the Hall of Fame ones. So they're pretty much the same, apart from they've got no number on the back of them. So you've got a C-3PO, you've got a Chewie. So again, all the less interesting characters. And you've got Vader, Solo, Luke, Leia, R2-D2, and then a Stormtrooper. So there's, I think, what, seven or eight of those, which are... Um, Hall of Fame figures. And then these are the 30th anniversary ones. So again, not, not a fan of the packaging really, but they did release some nice figures. So the Rebel Honor Guard's not been released before. Again, Han Solo, Luke. So nothing that interesting so far. And you've got the Jabba, but it's got a Lindroid, which one of those ones at the sale of the droids, pretty interesting. And you've got a couple of aliens again in the, the background characters. So you've got one called Mayum Onith. And then you've got Elvis Helrot. And then they go here. So CZ4, that's a pretty cool character. So I think that was in Return of the Jedi. And I love this, Hermie Oddly, I think it's called. So again, another kind of really obscure character. And then I pretty like this C-3PO with the salacious crumb on it. And we've got a couple more. That's the, I think it's the uh, A-wing pilot there. And you've got R2-D2 with the Ewok cargo net. And you've got a Vader hologram. So yeah, they're pretty cool. And then along the top here, there was these were the first kind of 
really retro looking ones. So they're part of the original trilogy collection. So there's a series of 12. So you've got four from Star Wars. You've got Han, Luke, Ben, and Leia. And then you've got four from Empire Strikes Back. So you've got Vader, C-3PO, which has fallen down. Uh, Lando and Yoda. And you've got four from Jedi. So you've got Chewie, which has also fallen down. Boba Fett, R2-D2, and then you've got Stormtrooper. So I really like those. And on this side as well, you've got some more kind of retro ones. So this is from the Saga collection. So you've got a uh, Biker Scout and uh, Greedo. And you've got Han in trench coat, Luke um, getting to the X-Wing, and you've got a Tusken Raider. I don't know why they chose those five in particular, but anyway. And then you've got some more here. So you've got Bosk, you've got, I was reflecting for a bit, they've got Han Solo, um, from Empire Strikes Back, and you've got IG-88, and you've got Bespin Luke, Leia from uh, Endor, and you've got a snow trooper. So that's pretty cool. And moving over here, so this is the Saga collection. So this kind of getting back to really good packaging. So some pretty cool figures there, or then the usual kind of Luke and Leia's and all the rest of it to start with. So General Veers is a pretty cool one. That took me a long time to find him. Um, what else have we got that's interesting? Power Droid. So kind of like a Gonk Droid, I suppose. Same thing. But this one's got those funny kind of things on it. So you can see on the picture there. You see it, I think, in the background on Empress Strike Back in the um, speeder kind of bay. You just see it in the background walking. With those things on its head and the clone trooper is the only one i have that's not from the original um trilogy i think someone gave me that one and then you start getting some interesting characters so you've got hem hem days on which is i think one of the cantina aliens and you've got gorinda and i was like that one i don't know why or i think it's called long snoot also and then the hand solo boring and Luke with floppy hats, that's from the kind of um, cut scenes, I think. Another Darth Vader. Um, Moff Ger Gerard, which is a pretty cool character, so he's not been released that much. You've got Death Star Gunner. That c 3 is pretty cool, it's in that Ewok throne. That's pretty cool. Nothing that interesting now. I like this one, R5J2, which I think... He's one of the Death Star droids, pretty cool. And then Kitty Keed Kak is, I think you just see him in the Cantina in Star Wars, right in the background you can just see him, or her. I think it's a she actually. And then Nabran leads in Carb, or Kabe. So again, really cool background characters. And you've got Labria as well. So I really like a lot of those figures from that collection. Um, and then here we've got the original trilogy collection. So again, you've got the standard Luke. Um, so I've got a Dagobah and then one of them handstanding. You've got Yoda, Spirit of Ben. You've got R2-D2 and then Luke again. And there's some Luke Lear Chewies down the bottom. Not too interesting. And going up to the top here, continues. So that gap is actually this layer which has fallen off the wall, so I'll put that back at some point. Um, I don't know why these two, the Cloud Car Pilot and Lobot, when I'm looking on eBay, those come up by far the most, so they must be, you know, the most plentiful around those ones for some reason. So again, really love the packaging in this, it looks, you know, like the old style figures. Some really cool ones there. I always like the Gamma and Guard. That's where the light's reflecting off a little bit. And Bib Fortuna really liked, kind of brings me back to when I was little and had the original figure playing with it. That one was quite hard to get, that one. It was Leia Skiff Guard. Again, the light's shining on it a little bit. It's quite expensive as well, that one. And then kind of the not so interesting ones. General Medine's pretty cool one, don't see him that much. And the last one of the main series is a Death Star um, Imperial Trooper. 
Then they did a series of what they called um, post trilogy collection. Um, so some of them are standalone figures that haven't been released in any, anywhere else. You've got Felter Pen Travag, which is a really cool figure, a, another background one in the cantina. Then you've got Mayo, another really cool one. Then you've got Danik Jericho, which you briefly see again in the cantina. And then I don't know why, they kind of released the same figures you've got in the main series. It's almost exactly the same, but the blue kind of packaging here is different. Whereas in the original ones, you can see it just has the original trilogy thing. So these are actually really difficult to find. I might pick up a few here, but I had to get the rest in America. I think the Sand Trooper, that's another standalone one that wasn't in the main series. And then the last one is Yoda. And then we move on to my favourite collection, which is the uh, vintage collection. Love these, but you know, some of them are really expensive. So again, I don't know why they put them in any particular order. So Dengar's number one, so I really like him. He's a you know background, one of the um ones on the executor at the Bounty Hunters. And you've got Leah Hoth. You've got Han, so I've got him in the normal standard figure, and then I've got the, um, what do you call it, the Ultimate Galactic Hunt, which is a foil variant, and the same with Luke, Best Bin, and I've got the foil Ultimate Galactic Hunt variant. Attack Commander's a pretty cool one, and C-3PO. I love the card background for that, really cool. Then Dak Ralter, so he's um, one of the Snow Speeder pilots. I think it's the one in Luke Snow Speeder. And you've got Vader, and again I've got the Galactic Hunt foil one, and the same with Boba Fett. I've got the Empire Strikes Back version, um, and I've got the Ultimate Galactic Hunt foil variant, and then they also did the Return of the Jedi version. So that and that's your figures are slightly different. You've got Fall Arm, Cloud Car, Sand Trooper, and the foil. Ultimate Galactic Hunt one. Um, and then I have a gap, which is the Yoda. So the main Yoda one, I think is from Attack of the Clones, but I obviously don't collect those. But they've done a Canadian variant, which is this, exactly the same background card as this from the original Trilogy Collection vintage style. Um, but that's going for stupid money. I think someone recently sold it on eBay for about 193 quid so I thought no I'm not buying that one and there's a, a different version of Gam Gamma and Guard that's pretty cool and then Admiral Ak Akbar always love that figure for some reason and here we've got Luke um, Endor Capture there's two variants there so you've got the standard um, one with the Stormtrooper behind him and then you've got the one with the card from Jabba's Palace that's pretty cool You've got um, Woof, I think he used to be called Klaatu in the original series. And you've got uh, R2D2. I don't know if you can answer me this question. So basically, there's a Rebel Commando, which is a standard one um, with the Return of the Jedi card. I'm not sure if there's a variant, um, a black one. I don't think one with Return of the Jedi exists. I know. I'll show you in a second, Revenge of the Jedi. So if anyone can tell me if the black variant Rebel Commando Return of the Jedi, not Revenge of the Jedi card exists, please let me know. I don't think it does. Um, I'll just whiz through some more of these. Let me just stop at anything a bit more interesting. So there's R5-D4, again one of my favourite ones. We've got Hand Ceremony, that's a new one. That gap is number 44. Four, I believe, which is Luke Dugaba Landing. That's going for silly money as well, like 70 quid sometimes. So I'll wait for that to be a bit more cheap, I think. And then Bon Vidmin, that's another Cantina alien. And you've got Kayan Farlander, which is a B-Wing pilot. I've always been fascinated by B-Wings. I think it's because they're in the film 
Return of the Jedi, but yeah, never actually seen him fighting in it, which I believe was because of the shape of them. You couldn't actually see them properly when they're actually in battle. So they kind of didn't bother with them, which is a shame. And then moving on, we've got Lear Slave, TIE Fighter. I think that's that might be the Canadian variant. And the same with the Hoth Rebel Soldier. I think it's a Canadian variant as well. Some of these were really expensive, actually. So Ponder Baba was expensive. And then you've got a series of about four or five... Um, from the cut scenes, so you've got Luke when he's constructing his light lightsaber, and you've got Princess Leia and Lando from Sandstorm when they come back from Jabba's palace. You've got Colonel Kraken from the Millennium Falcon. I don't know if you actually glimpse him behind Lando or not. And you've got the um, Mon Calamari, Calamari rebel pilot, which is in the kind of cut extended scenes. And then down here, you've got some quite interesting ones. So Grand Moff Tarkin, interesting. You've got another Jabba's Skiff Guard, Luma. This is my favourite ever figure. I don't know why, but I love the Royal Guard. Again, it's just one of those background figures. You don't know much about them. They don't really do anything in the film. But I just love it. I think they look great. That's pretty cool. That was quite expensive, that Leia one. And Sand Trooper as well. And I've got another gap here, which is the number 115, which is the Darth Vader one. Again, that's going for stupid money. So I'll wait until that, that comes up for a bit better. And then this is the only new one they've released from the vintage uh, collection. Um, that's only just been released, you know, two or three months ago. Um, the only kind of original trilogy one. So that's pretty cool. So those are my main kind of figure collections. I'll just show you what I've got at the back here. So I've got um, a Millennium Falcon from the original Power of the Force collection. Behind that, I've got um, the Saga collection Attack Walker. And I'll show you, you've got the um, Biker Scout and an Attack Driver in there. So it's all, and that's quite worth quite a lot of money, that one. And I've got the Electronic Collector Fleet, so you've got the Rebel Blockade Runner, and you've got the Star Destroyer. And there's another one, it's a Super Star Destroyer, but again, that's going for crazy money and you don't see them very often, so I will get it one day. Then you've got the Saga um, Imperial Shuttle. And then you've got uh, Shadows of the Empire, which I don't normally bother with, because again, it's, it's not from the main films. But I don't suppose there's any difference between this Slave 1 and the main one. And I've got the Power of the Force Attack Walker out of the box, which I know you probably think is sacrilege, but yeah, that's pretty cool as well. And then in my cabinets, I've got some of the kind of smaller or kind of limited edition stuff. So again, it's going to reflect off the glass a little bit, but you've got the Classic Edition 4 pack, which is really cool. And then you've got some... You can't really see, but Muftak and Carb and a little box. And you've got a Spirit of Obi-Wan, which is like a mail-away one, I think. And then a couple of other mail-away mail ones. You've got Ula and Salacious Crumb down there. And you've got the Max Rebo band type ones. And you've got a Han Solo Stormtrooper. And you've got a Bomar Monk, really cool. And this C-3PO is pretty hard to find, actually, and wasn't cheap. So that's a JediCon 2001 C-3PO. And then down here we've got the Millennium Minted Coins. So not particularly hard to find or anything. But I quite like them a bit different. And then you've got the cinema scene. So I really love kind of actual scenes rather than just... I, mean, I suppose the figures, individual figures are my favourites. And then some of these scenes are pretty cool as well. So again, not particularly hard to find or... You know, expensive or anything, but I like them. Can't really see that well. And this, yes, I know this isn't Star Wars, but this is another cartoon I grew up with called Ulysses Thirty One. So I came across some of these figures, which are really hard to find and really expensive. So I'm gonna see if I can get the rest of those at some point, but they're silly money. I think some people on eBay 
and selling them for about three or four hundred pounds per figure so they're not worth that but there we go this one is the from the vintage collection so it's the bounty hunter kind of double pack so you've got there um Zacus. And then the other one is Four Lom, and I think they did it because in the original they got the names back to front. So you can see there, this one is called Zacuse. And it's the same figure here, but it's called its proper name, which is Four Lom. So anyway, that's pretty cool. And then I've got the Carbon Freeze Chamber, again out of the box, but you know, sometimes you've got to do that. And then just a few two packs. So you've got 300th figure Boba Fett, and then you've just got the um, celebration packs. So you've got Ben and Vader, you've got Han and Chewie, and you've got Luke and Leia there. So they're, they're pretty cool. And this one here, so you've got some from the original trilogy collection. So you've got, well, you can't really see it that well. Um, you've got Holographic Emperor. And you've got another holographic Princess Leia in that side. And you've got an R2KT, which was pretty expensive. It's um, for Make-A-Wish, I think. So it's a, a child who had cancer, I think. Her wish was to have a, a droid named after her. So that's that one. And then from the Saga collection, you've got Commander George Sakul, which is George Lucas, felt funny. Then you've got a Wedge Antilles from the original trilogy collection. And then you've got a mail away Boba Fett with rocket launcher as well. That was quite expensive. And here you've got the theatre edition Luke Jedi. And then you've got the George Lucas Stormtrooper there, which is pretty cool. Again, not cheap. Then you've got the 501st Stormtrooper there. That's pretty cool. And then you've got the Boba Fett prototype armour from the vintage collection. Really cool and not cheap and then you've got a biker scout battlefront which is like a promo thing and then here you've got figures from the lost line so they come in like a little carousel thing but obviously some of them were from the original from the um prequel so i'm not interested in those so i just bought um the layer and you've got the darth vader and then you've got the sand trooper and those figures are the same from the collection here so you've got the layer and the Sand Trooper, obviously I'm missing the Vader, they're just in different packaging. And there you've got the Darth Vader 500th figure, and then you've got the Trash Compactor scenes, which are pretty cool. I really like those. And then here, you've got three from the 30th anniversary Macquarie concept. So you've got um, Concept C-3PO and R2-D2, I really like that. And then you've got the Concept Yoda and Obi-Wan. Uh, you can't really see it very well. You've got the concept um, Luke Skywalker, I think. And here you've got the Darth Vader Woolworths figure. This one is the kind of holiday edition figure. So here you've got R2D2 and C3PO dressed as Santa Claus. That's pretty cool. And you've got the Yoda dressed as Father Christmas. And you've got the Jawas with presents. And then you've got the Holiday 2005 Darth Vader in red. And then here we've got some 1997 commemorative edition Hong Kong figures. So you've got a, so you can see Boba Fett, Vader and Stormtrooper. And you've got C-3PO, Luke and Leia. And here is just another, the uh, cinema scene. So you've got the spirits. And then the one I really like is the Rebel Pilots, so that's pretty cool. So what else? So when I look at here, the only kind of original thing is the Rebel Transport, which I really, really love. But also they've, they've never released it again. Um, above that you've just got the Power of the Force things I'm not overly struck on. You've got the Ronto and Jawa, you've got Jabba, and you've got a uh, Luke, is it a Luke and Tonton and then the Jew back? So kind of basic stuff from there. Here you've got the three speeder bikes. So you've got a Luke, a Leah, and a biker scout. And then also you've got one which isn't so easy to get is the power racing speeder bike. So 
which doesn't come up very often apart from America. And as you probably know, buying stuff from America and paying all the import and customs charges is a pain in the arse. Here we've got um, the original trilogy collection from Millennium Falcon, but it's got the Sam's Club exclusive pack of figures on the top. And that was not cheap, but really cool. Down the side, you've got um, some commemorative trilogy DVD collections. There's no DVD with it. It's just the promoting the kind of, I think, the re-release of the original trilogy films. So again, not bad. And you've got a original trilogy collection, Boba Fett and Slave One. That's pretty cool. And then we've got here, so from the Saga collection, you've got the Snow Speeder with Zev um, Sineska who's the guy who finds Han and Luke um, after um, Luke's attacked with by the Wampa. And the thing behind Figuresta Collection is a Mexican kind of figure set. Nothing particularly special in itself. There's no kind of, you know, the package is not great or anything like that. Really hard to come across. Um, I actually found it by chance. So it took me a long time to track that down. Here we've got a Thai bomber from the saga, Star Wars saga, and you've got a Thai fighter. Um, here we've got a really cool original trilogy collection, X-wing and Thai fighter two pack, and you've got the various pilots there as well. They were also released individually, but I don't have those. I love this one. So this is a Mex another Mexican exclusive. It's um, Star Wars um, Empire Strikes Back and it's Luke Skywalker's encounter with Yoda. So I don't know if I can open it. So it's just Luke with a handstand and Yoda. But again, figures that aren't particularly interesting, but it's the packaging and it's, again, took me a while to track that one down. And then here we've got the Power of the Force A-Wing. Love that. We've got Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. And then what we've got here, we've got the Bantha and Tuscan Raider, or Sand Person. And we've got the Rancor with Luke. And you've got the really early 1995 X-Wing Fighter. And here we've got the Star Wars Saga. We've got the Land Speeder and another A-Wing Fighter, which is pretty cool. And then here we've got Power of the Jedi. It's got a really cool um, snow speeder, and that's where he's just about to get um, tramped on by an attack. So he's kind of get his lightsaber, and you've got you actually see Dak Ralter sitting in the back. Another Tide bomber. Here we've got um, an ATST walker. So you can see in there they've got it's an E-walk on a. Um, Scout bike as well. Um, and then these are really awesome. So they're from their 30th anniversary collection. You've got the Battle of Endor, so it's massive. So you've got an ATST walker. You've got, I think I can see two, maybe three um, speeder bikes. And you've got Ewoks, you've got Chewie. So really cool. And the other one in that series is the Battle of Hoth. So again, you've got an ATST walker. You've got loads of snow troopers. You've got Luke, you've got Rebel Soldiers, I think you've got Han there, and a Rebel turret gun. That's really, really cool. And I love these as well. This is from the Saga collection. You've got the Astromech Droid Pack Series 1 and 2. So again, because I love the droids. Those are really, really cool packs. And then here we've got, again from the Power of the Jedi collection, you've got a TIE Interceptor. Um, Luke Wampa. And you've got... From the Saga collection, you've got Darth Vader's Advanced Starfighter. Yet another TIE Bomber. So anything that kind of gets me with those, I've got three TIE Bombers. And they're probably almost exactly the same, if not the same, just in different packaging. But anyway. This is pretty cool. So um, Power of the Force, so quite an old one. That's the Tatooine Skiff. That's one of my favourite things. And I've got Han with Tonton. Then I've got another Darth Vader TIE Fighter from the original Trilogy Collection. Um, and I've got 
tie interceptor with a pilot. I've got the land speeder from the vintage collection. Love the packaging. And then here we've got the um, Endor bunker, which is pretty cool. And then we've got the Hoth kind of battle set with the turret laser. And then we've got, so these are part of the Droid Factory, is a, a set of six. Three of them are from the original trilogy, which are the ones I've got. So you've got Han, and which one's that? I don't even know, C3PX, apparently. And then you've got a, a Luke and an RTD2, and you've got a Vader, and whatever droid that is, I don't even know. And then the other three were original trilogy, so I wasn't interested in those. Um, here we've got from the Saga collection, no, not from the Saga collection, from the Legacy collection, you've got Disturbance at Lars Homestead, really like this. So you've got the kind of a dwelling on Tatooine, you've got Baru, you've got a Sand Trooper, and you've got Owen Lars, and in the back, you've got a moisture evaporator and, can't really see it, it's like a, a version of their dog, I can't remember what it's called. Here again, Legacy Collection, you've got a Biker Scout and Speeder Bike. Here, I love this as well, the Death Star Briefing Room, which is another scene. So lots of figures that haven't been released before, really, really cool. And again, we've got Original Trilogy Collection, the Sand Crawler. Really, really nice thing. You've got the RA7 Droid, so I really like that one. And then they've got a Jawa there and a Jawa there. Here we've got a Shadow Scout. So again, not actually in the film, but I quite liked it, so I thought I'd have it anyway. And then down here, we've got like a pack. Um, it's like a gift. I think it's a Father's Day gift promotional thing. So you've got a Vader and a Luke. And then these four are the Complete Galaxy. So you've got Luke Tatooine. Um, with the Sarlacc pits, you've got Yoda on Dagobah, you've got Vader in his chamber, and you've got an Ewok um, on Endor. And this is a prize piece of my collection, which I'm sure some of you will recognise. So it's the San Diego Comic Con 2011 Revenge of the Jedi Death Star set. This cost me $1,100, but I really wanted it. So, you know, had to have it. I don't know if I can, for those who haven't seen it, let's see if I can open it or not. This keeps coming off, so I actually had to sellotape it slightly in the end, which isn't great, but still. Take that off. So, if any of you have not seen it, opens out so it's from the vintage collection so here you've got many of the figures which I showed you earlier but as you can see Revenge of the Jedi not Return of the Jedi That's Stormtrooper there Revenge this is what I was talking about earlier the Rebel Commando so you can see this is a, the black version but I think it only exists as Revenge of the Jedi not as a Return of the Jedi, but prove me wrong, please. And you've got a B Wing pilot, Vader again, RTD2. And then you've got this miniature one, a mouse droid, and these are going for silly money just as a figure on their own. Ridiculous. And on this side, again, all Revenge of the Jedi, we've got Admiral Akbar, Boba Fett, Han in trench coat, Wicket. Princess Leia's slave, TIE fighter pilot, and in the middle a miniature, this time is Salacious Crumb. So this set is awesome, a bit flimsy, it's just cardboard, but I absolutely love it. What else haven't we seen? So here we've got some of the silver figures, so they're a bit wonky actually on the wall. So you've got um, silver R2-D2. Silver Boba Fett, Silver Sand Trooper and Silver Darth Vader. 
There's another one which I don't have, which is another silver Darth Vader, which is going probably for about 80 to 100 pounds, but anyway. And then just got a few things on the floor. So from the Saga collection, I've got a X-Wing at Dagobah. Really cool. And it's got the dragon snake, which is the thing you kind of see the hump of when it's kind of in the murky kind of depths, but you don't actually see the head. Here we've got my favourite ship, which is the B-Wing fighter. Just wish they showed him more in the films. And we've got some X-Wings. So we've got Red Leader's X-Wing, which is quite a big one. And we've got Luke's X-Wing. And then another ship I love, the Y-Wing fighter. So we've got a silver one, which I don't believe appeared in the films. Maybe I'm wrong. And you've got the original um, ones with the yellow markings on it. And this one from the 30th anniversary collection looks even more realistic. really like this one. Unfortunately, my, as you can see there, my box is a bit damaged inside. And then this one from the vintage collection, which I actually bought at the time for, I think, 30 quid in Toys R Us. And now it's going for absolute silly money. So that's almost it in here. Just got a few figures down the sides. So got the Shadow of the Empire um, two pack. So it's Boba Fett versus IG88. And we've got the Max Rebo band pairs. So there's three of those. And these, the Princess Leia collection, not really that struck on these, but again, just for completeness, obviously. Thought I'd get them. And at the bottoms, the Shadows of the Empire, Leah Bouche. And then over here, lastly, we have the electronic Power FX figures from the Power of the Force. So you've got Ben, Vader, you've got the Emperor, Luke, and there's an R2D2 one as well. So I think in here, that is pretty much it. However, I have a second room, I might call my Star Wars overflow room. So let's see what we've got in here. I'll give you a quick whiz round like before and I'll show you a bit more of what's in here. Funny with the light in here. So not quite as much stuff in here. So where do we start? So let's start down the side of the wall here. So just some packs from the um, saga, Star Wars saga. So some of them I'm not filled with. So you've got these three here. You know, not not great. They're kind of just, you know, part of the collection, I suppose. Then these are a little bit more interesting. You've got Ewok Attack Glider. I quite like this one. So you've got another Beaumont Monk. Um, you've got other various um, things. I'm not actually sure what they're called. It probably says on the back. This one's pretty cool. So you've got General Riking with a half tactical screen. And you've got 3PO with the escape pod. And you've got Jabba with his kind of thing which he keeps his frogs in to eat. Then you've got a Wumpa with something's leg probably. And down here I've got, it's a set of five um, Max Rebo band members. So they're all the same figures, but you'll see they've all got slightly different instruments. And they actually play an annoying tune and they light up. There we go, how annoying. Here we've got um, the Saga Collection, the Ultimate um, Galactic Hunt. So pretty much they're the same figures from the original series, but you can see they've got a silver 
kind of, I don't know what you'd call it, a plaque in the background. Um, and there's silver kind of on the actual front of it as well, so they're pretty cool. Um, pretty hard to come across some of them, and quite expensive. And you've got the Shadow Stormtrooper at the end, which is like a limited edition. Again, not, you know, an actual figure in the films, but I quite liked it to complete the collection. And here we've got some of the Power of the Jedi kind of sets, which, you know, they're okay, I suppose. You've got Animan, which is another, I think it's um, Jabba's palace background character you just see for a second or two. You've got Luke in Back to Tank, it's pretty cool. Oops, you've got Leia with the barge cannon. And then you've got some from the original kind of Power of the Force. So I think I've even got some of these from Argos, I think. So not that interesting, really. And then there's some more here, you've got the gunner stations down the side, you've got Han Solo, you've got a Vader and a Luke. And the rest of them down the side are the bar scene ones. So I think these were made and kind of not much interest and I think they cancelled. So for the first three, so you've got Ponda Baba, you've got Mamordan, Nadon or Hammerhead. And then this one is, you can't really see it, the Shade, Greedo. And then these other three... You've got Kitty Keed Kak, which I quite like actually. And then you've got Woohoo the Bartender. And then you've got Dr. Everzan. I think these three were cancelled, so they're less easy to find. And then on the top, so again, really cool um, Imperial Shuttle. It's got my favourite figure there, the Emperor's Royal Guard and then a Vader. Really like this. And then there's some Power of the Force stuff. So you've got the original TIE Fighter, Death Star Escape, um, and ATAT, ATST. Um, and then you've got uh, another Death Star scene in the kind of garbage compactor thing. Or well, just before they jump into it, you've got a land speeder, you've got an original um, snow speeder. And there's the box for the Imperial Shuttle, which I've got on display in the other room. And here we've got from the Saga collection another kind of the DVD collection things so I quite like them but probably just repacks of other figures this is really hard to come across so as you can see down the side here from the vintage collection you've got um, a series of special action figure sets which are actually I think apart from the droid one there on the right the top right and I managed to pick up about £20 somewhere I think the rest of them some of them are quite expensive I apologise for the light it's a bit sunny so I love these ones but this one has three in one so you do find them on eBay so you've got the Hoth Rebels you've got the Bestman Alliance and then you've got an Imperial set you do find them selling them individually but I think I've only ever seen one other than this one on eBay where it's got the three kind of in one that cost me quite a lot as well and here we've got uh, here's the blu-ray edition ones I think so I've got them all in a box unopened so that's why I've got um, so you've got episode four Star Wars got the Empire Strikes Back um, Return of the Jedi and you've also got the episode 1, 2 and 3 which I'm not really interested in so I don't know if I can get one of these out without causing an issue so ow. so that's just like sets of figures there really so nothing amazing but you know different I suppose and then further down we got some of the Legacy Collection Battle Pack, which I really like. So you've got Shield Generator Salt there. And then below there, you've got Hoth Recon Patrol, I think it is. So it's a really cool droid there with, I think, K3PO. And a probe droid. Um, and then these are the 30th Anniversary Collection Battle Packs. This one is Capture of the Tantive IV, which is the, for those of you who don't know, is the um, Rebel Ship. In the beginning of the Star Wars um, main entrance, we got 
Betrayal on Bespin, which is another one, pretty cool. And we've got Jedi Training on Dagobah. And I really like this one, it's the Bounty Hunter pack from the Saga collection. So you've got Vader, Dengar, IG-88, Boba Fett, Bosk, um, Fall On, and then Zacchaeus. Again, it's a bit difficult to see because the sun's so bright. I've got no blind in here. Next we've got the Endor Ambush from the Trilogy Collection. So that's pretty cool. And here we've got another 30th anniversary. This is the Hoth um, Patrol Battle Pack with the Wampa. And you've got Tonton, you've got Luke. And then here we've got a couple of the DR Armor ones from I think Power of the Force, so quite old. You've got Han Solo Carbonite and you've got a Sand Trooper with Patrol Droids. And then below that you've got another um, a couple of the bar scene ones. So you've got Kitty Kak again, you've got Woo Her, oops, Woo Her, Dr. Revazan. And there you've got what he's called actually. You've got Ponda Barber, you've got Obi Wan. Can't remember that guy. It'll come to me in a minute. And then here we've got another Legacy Collection battle pack. It says Hoth Speeder Bike Patrol. Although I don't ever remember seeing any speeder bikes in the Battle of Hoth, but anyway. And we've got a pretty cool um, Evolution one. So that's the Rebel Pilot. Sorry, Imperial Pilot Legacy. I think there's a couple of those, and I think there's three. Um, I think Rebel Pilot ones as well. Here we've got some collective commemorative tin collections. It's actually really hard to see, isn't it? So you've got Vader and Biker Scout, you've got Leia and Rebel Commando. Here you've got another couple of ones. Some more there. And there was another. I think they did a one for each of the first six films, and I think they did a. I think this one here is the limited edition Jedi one, I think. And then you've got a. It's the figuring down in there. Um, modal nodes so it's probably the same figures I've got in those musical ones but in a tin instead and here we've just got some more battle packs so we've got Rebel vs Empire um, we've got Assault on Hoth that was pretty expensive and again I love this one because of the Emperor's Royal Guards so Emperor's Throne Room and here you've got um, the Sarlacc Pit one again so that's almost that size. I've just got some from the Star Wars Saga. So you've got the Bounty Hunter pack. You've got the Hoth Battle pack. And then we've got the Imperial Forces. And then the last one is a skirmish at Carcoon with some of Jabba's skiff guards. And you've got a solo in the gun as well. And here, I don't think we saw that one. This is from, I think, from the Black series actually. Just a set of droids. So I only recently got that one. I wasn't going to bother because a lot of the droids are not in the original trilogy. But actually I think three are and three aren't. So I thought, you know, I like droids. I'm going to get them. Above the window, I don't know if you can actually see that well. So it's the first anniversary, anniversary ones. But they're the Macquarie concept. So again, you can see the... Um, packaging slightly different it's like a blue kind of blue and white kind of packaging and it's all the concept ones so you've got concept stormtrooper concept boba fett concept chewbacca vader star killer um is that snow trooper i can't see from here yet um solo in the corner you've got rebel trooper so it's all kind of the original drawings that didn't quite make it to the film they had different versions Along the top of the wall here, this is the, oh, what is it? It's the Saga Legends collection. So again, it's part of the 30th anniversary collection. You can see it's the same packaging. It's, these are the orange ones I'm talking about. Um, so I don't have all of these yet. So I've got a Vader, an R2-D2. I've got a Boba Fett. Um, 
you've got one of five sand troopers with slight differences. You've got one there, another one there, another one here, and here, and here. But actually this one and this one, I cannot tell any difference whatsoever. So I think maybe when I bought the entire pack, I think one of them wasn't right. And you've got the Imperial Officer, and I think there's three variations of that um, with just different hair colours. So you've got the brown, blonde and light brown hair colours. Um, you've got RA7, which I really like. And you've got um, Zev Seneska, and there's a limited edition um, Shadow Stormtroop, I think that last one is. And then finally, the Legacy Collection ones. This is the collection I'm kind of on at the moment. So I'm just focusing on the first lot of those. So you can see, I don't know if you can, I've got Han, Luke, Chewy. The gap there is for a couple of Ewok ones, which is going for silly money, like 50, 60 quid. So I'm going to hold off until that's a, a better price. And you've got Akrev, um, Dal Gargan, which I think is one of Jabba's kind of dancer type people. And that blue sticker just means it's released on the first day of, of issue. And you've got Ben Malar, who is a brief background um, figure in the canteen, I think. You've got Vader with a helmet, Imperial Engineer, which I think is off one of the games rather than the actual um, films. However, it just looks to me like a Death Star gunner. So you've got Luke and Han Stormtrooper, you've got Space Trooper. So those are the ones where they track to the Millennium Falcon in. You can actually see the Stormtroopers outside in space. So that's those ones. And then I've got Captain Nida, which is a cool one. So I don't, I'm not sure he's been released before. You can't really see it. And then you've got an Ugnaught. And obviously there's quite a few gaps. Um, and then this is just a box of figures from various different things. So I don't have enough of them really. So you've got a, this is the Ultimate Galactic Hunt 30th anniversary one. So they did a series of about eight or so from the original films this is um, with the gold um, card and the gold coin so they're quite hard to come across actually I got only got this one the other day I think it was a bargain at five pounds I think and then I've just got some some of the black series I'm not really collecting them yet but these were on offer on a website so I've got those you've got the Admiral Akbar Lando General and my favourite figure of course, the Emperor's Will Guard. Here's another of the um, 30th anniversary Ultimate Galactic Hunts, that's Big Stark Lighter. And I do have one more of those somewhere. I'll find it in a minute. I think it's this one. Oh yeah, so it's the Concept Stormtrooper with a gold coin. So I've only got three of those. Um, and there's a couple of deleted lines. So this is from the Legacy Collection, the Droid Factory. So I've got a Biker Scout and I think a TIE Fighter Pilot, yes. So I think there's an R2-D2, a Sand Trooper, maybe two Sand Troopers, and maybe one other one. Um, this is some of the Legacy Collection um, that the Saga Legend versions of those. So that's one of those. Um, it's a Han Saga Legend. I'm not really sure. It's like a locker. I don't really know what's in there, if anything. So this is from the kind of later Legacy Collection. So I've only got one or two of those. So that's the Scanning Crew. And then I've got, again from the Legacy Collection, it's one of the Bespin Guards. So that's the black one. I think the other one is actually, I think, this one in here. So that's in the, the triple pack thing. And then another Legacy Collection Biker Scout. And then I've got Saga Legends. That's a Chewy. I've got a Luke. What else have I got in here? 
uh, Legacy Collection Luke Jedi Knight. It's just a box. And then just some of the, the Black Series, which I just picked up. I think I got these from Forbidden Planet in London, actually. So I'm not really collecting them, I'm just kind of picking them up as I go along. I've got a few of those. And then just some of the orange, so the, the first black series. So we've got Torin Far, who I think is the gunner on the iron cannon in Ember Strikes Back. And that's a bit dusty, that one. So Luke Dagobah. The packaging on these were terrible. So I've got a Dak router. I think I picked these up in a local toy shop, kind of hidden at the back of the shelf. And a big Stark lighter. So I shall get on to collecting those at some point. I think that's it. So that is my Star Wars collection. So I hope you enjoyed my little trip into my Star Wars collection. And please post your comments. And please let me know if in the Vintage Collection, the black version of the Endor Rebel Soldier is available as a Return of the Jedi, not just a Revenge of the Jedi. Um, that would be interesting to know. Thank you.